Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Violet. If you're new here, hi, I've got a new baby and I am an elementary teacher. I like to have a cozy corner. I found two amazing IKEA pillow chairs on Kijiji for free. I went and picked them up yesterday. Remember, if you can get it for free, if you can get it secondhand, that is always your best bet. Classrooms can be extremely expensive to set up. I'll show you how we can make something aesthetic and beautiful from very little. Okay, so. I was very, very fortunate. If you're also setting up your classroom and trying to recover some furniture to make it super cool, maybe this video is for you. I picked these up on Kijiji for free yesterday. And as you can see, we'll start by taking apart the cushions and washing them. And these are the pillow Ikea chairs. And the way you can tell it's a pillow, not a poing, is because it has tension rods instead of bars in the back. So I figured that out pretty quickly. These were used as deck chairs and I think they did a great job for the previous owner. I am going to be sanding and refinishing though because I don't want little hands to get slivers. So let's see how we go. We're going to see if we can sand them, if we can paint them, and if we can wash the fabrics. So I imagine this will be really nice for a reading nook in my classroom because it's comfortable and it's kind of special and it's different than everywhere else. So I'd set it up by a bookshelf. Now, taking the fabrics off was extremely easy. The foam came out pretty easily too. The larger pad stuck a little bit more. There was some textured surface on the inside that was holding it in. There's one, two. Some of this. Fine. The anti-slip grips are very useful, however, I am going to be sanding down and refinishing the whole thing, so I had to take them off. It was a little bit tedious. I'd recommend using a credit card instead of peeling with gloves because this was way too hard. Later I had my kids help me out and I gave them a credit card to do that and it was much better. I began sanding with 220 grit, which was silly. Don't do that. Get 60 or 80 grit for a first pass on furniture because it's going to take way too long if you start with 220 you're not going to get the finish you want either. So really with a project like this, my husband taught me you need to go like 80, 120, 220 before you apply the paint. So it's not trivial. You can't do it. Um, I thought maybe like 10 minutes per chair, quickly sand it down, but no, you want to get the finish correct so the paint will adhere. As you can see, there's a lot of wear on all the surfaces and the top layer really needed to be sanded off. These pillow chairs are compressed wood, I believe. The pillows, I believe, are more solid birch, but I found that taking off the layer didn't um, damage the integrity of the chair. With some tightening, the screws were just fine and there's not much squeaking going on, which is good, but yeah, I definitely had to stop and go purchase some more sandpaper because this 220 is not getting the job done. The furniture paint was a little bit expensive. It was $32. I can show you what it looks like. Cabinet and Furniture Premier Paint. You can see I'm saving brushes for another project. It's not a huge can, but it looks like it's going to um, 
protect the furniture pretty well. So we went with this green. It's kind of like the Disneyland go away green. So it should be pretty nice in most spaces. The covers were from Indigo, Cha Indigo Chapters a few years back. And I think they look cool. So let me know what you think of our project. It was really fun to involve the kids because we picked up the chairs for free. Thank you. The project was basically the cost of the paint and the brushes. So it was $32 for the paint. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was more time than it was worth? What if you just picked up new ones? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll continue looking for cool things for my classroom to refurbish. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.